Hey everyone, here's a project that I was working on last night. I just got done completing it. This is using the Sizzix Extra Large Box Die. Um, here's the die right here. This is a really fun die to work with. You can make ton of projects using this die. So let me just quickly share with you what I did here. This is basically a photo box display. As you can see, I spelled out the word family and it took about six boxes. This is using the Life's Journey um, a kit that Arlene had given me. And I also had a 12 by 12 paper um, pad also because this die, to make one box, it takes one 12 by 12. So let me quickly show you what I did. Um, I've actually made several of these. I made one for my mom, I made one for Arlene, and I've also made one for my cousin. This is a really fun project. Um, as you can see, I made this one as for my family. You can make one for your kids, spell out their name. I'm planning to make one for Valentine's and spell out the word love. So let me show you what I've done. Actually, I'm going to do these to all the boxes um, as far as the photos. I just placed photos on each side of the box. Um, these are 2 by 3 photos. Um, this was at my daughter's friend's um, birthday party at the roller skating place and we had such a great time so I placed also a photo on the top I didn't place one on the bottom as you can see because it has to lay flat and then you're just gonna do exactly the same thing to the remaining of the boxes so each box will be an event that we went to um, so let me quickly show you I sealed the box completely um, because um, there's another project I'm going to show you that I didn't actually close the box all the way. So for all the letters, I basically used the Tim Holtz grunge board. Um, I did the same technique that I did um, with Regina's project. Um, I basically ran it through the Cuddlebug um, script embossing folder. But I used different colors. I used the antique linen first. Then I edged it with a frayed burlap and then the brush corduroy and then I sprayed it with the old lace, Glimmer Mist. And then here this Eiffel Tower that was actually from my vintage finding collection. It was on a tag so I just hand cut it out and then I just paint it with the gold wheat shimmers. And then that was a white prima flower that I sprayed with a starfish Glimmer Mist and then added the UT. And then those are some prima flower bling. And then this is one of my Sizzix dye. Um, I basically just distressed it with a frayed burlap and then um, added some old lace um, glimmer mist. And in all the boxes I sprayed with the pearl glimmer mist to give it extra shine to the box. So for over here, um, this is some Prima ribbon that came in the kit, Prima flowers, some buttons, um, some white feather, and then a Prima leaf. And then over here, this is the Life's Journey, it's a sticker, it's a really cool sticker, and then added some Prima Bling. Um, down here, this is the Fleur de Lis die, and which by the way, um, be sure to check out Sizzix.com because this die is going for $2.25 right now, which is, I think is an awesome deal. Um, there's a lot of their dies going for like two something. I just had placed a huge order with them, so be sure to check it out. So basically I add some um, design paper in the back which I edged and distressed and then here's some of the design paper and then I went over it with some of the rock candy stickles and then placed the letter I in the center. Over here this is a Life's Journey die cut. Um, Prima Flower, Prima Bling Flower and then some more Prima Bling down there. Over here um, Prima Lace, uh, the Tim Holtz Adage Ticket. Um, I put story because it's, you know, it's spelled out family story. And then the butterfly chipboard added the design paper on top, added the Prima Bling in the center, and then I also glimmer missed the butterfly. Um, so that's what I created. This is a really fun project. If you don't have this die, um, you can use it with pretty much any box that's out there. Um, What's nice with this die is because you can use any design paper that you want to cut out and it creates a really pretty display. And then here's another project that I created using this um, same die. 
So this is just one box. Um, as you can see here, I didn't adhere the box completely like I did with the other ones. And so I left the top lid open because inside it is a little mini album, which I binded with my Bind It All. And what's really neat is this mini album is from the same box die. So let me just quickly share with you how I did that. So basically, I just, as you can see on the center of this die, it doesn't have flaps like the other two do. So I just placed the chipboard and the design paper and then just ran it through my Big Shot and that's how I came up with the mini album. And this makes a great um, present to give to someone. And then you could just decorate the box. And you can also make a matchbox book. I didn't complete it yet, but let me just show you how to do that. Um, basically, on the die, you're just going to take the two squares, the one with the flap and then one without the flap. But you're basically going to cut out these flaps out. You're going to leave this top flap there because that's what makes the matchbox, as you can see here. So all you're going to do is you're just going to take the center square, which is right here, the ones without the flap, place your design paper, about maybe five or six of them, and then that will make the pages. Place it and tuck it in here, and then add the two brads down here, and then that will make your matchbook and it just tucks in there like that. And then again, it also fits in here perfectly because it's the same die. So that's another project that you can create using this die. So give it a try. I had a great time making this. This is a fun project for yourself or as a gift. So thanks for watching. Bye.